Hello there, and welcome back to Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, where we are still not on the actual road to Eden, but um, we're actually trying to find Hammond, who has clues about the road to Eden. And it seems we have quite a trek ahead of us. From Hammond's cabin up to the high road, and then through this, I guess, and then up all the way here, which is level 20. What the heck? Kitty Lil? I didn't know if I wanted to say heck or hell, so my brain stumbled. Last time we actually got to the Ark, we looked around, upgraded some things, bought a medkit, always need them medkits, and um, got a new mission to find Hammond, on whom the Ark uh, depends for its continued survival. He just took two stalkers and went off to the north. Not saying anything to anyone. We found his cabin, killed a few ghouls, found his diary. And where he said... Something about Eden and uh, something crashing to the north. So we're going north-ish. So... Greenland, Greenland. Okay. So I guess we're going north-west-ish. Now at the high road. The deeper part of the forest hides the entrance to something large. Campfires are visible on the looming mountainside. Age back to Ark. No, not yet. And it's uh, near Tingberg and Kaptorp. Okay. Now... That's where I should be going. I... Oh, can I go this way? Am I allowed to go this way? Never been this deep into the zone before. Bet you a pitcher of grog there's ghouls out here. Of course they are. They're everywhere. Don't forget the zone dogs. Potential treasure. Speaking of treasure. Can I somehow get over there? Maybe if I keep walking along this little... See, there's a bridge. No, that's not a bridge. It's a fishing spot. Half a bridge. Half a bridge. Not allowed to go out onto the half bridge. Look alive. We got company. Wait. That's a stalker. One of Hammond's. Okay. I will get there eventually. Let me look around first. I want all the items. Ooh, speaking of items. Not speaking of items. I'm going to be able to buy all the medicates and that um, that uh, sniper rifle that... Uh, oh, I already forgot her name. Iridia? Iridia. Iridia? I think so. That she had to sell for 150 scrap. I have 109. Ooh. Oh, wait. Dax, you stand there. Split up. Okay, spread out. As you can see, the light of the flora. Can I? Yeah, even Dax throws a shadow. Nice. Over here. I love that. Do you have extra batteries for your flashlight, boys? Okay, so nothing else to find here. Hello, unknown stalker. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're Ooh. a mutant like us on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, <laughs> and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. 
And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. Yes, this please. Is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Selma, join your expedition. Hello, Selma. And what are you about? I saw that you had a horn. Not horns, but a horn. Ooh, you're also a sneaky bastard. Good. Green eye, 30% added to weapon range. Range 13? Sheesh, you are definitely staying in the back. And a Molotov. You can keep the Molotov. You can also use the smoke grenade. So a Molotov and a smoke grenade in case I need to protect my dear ducks. Range 13. Crit chance 10%, 2 ammo. Ancient pistol. Oh, okay. Range 15. Okay. Two, so, basically, kind of two snipers? Six health, twelve movement, zero armor, ten throw. And what do your mutations look like? Seven points available. Taunt. Superintendents reach high places by simply moving or sprinting in combat. Your leg tendons have become mutated, making them thicker and stronger. You are now able to move or sprint to high places freely and without the use of a ladder. Well, this could be interesting, though, between her and Borman playing ping pong with... Well, for one turn, at least. Well, two turns. First Borman does it, the enemy runs towards him, then Selma does it. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll hold on. Hold off on this. Hold on to my points. As I don't really know exactly how this could benefit me, and I don't want to take Joker just because I don't know how this would work. This is a passive one, though. This is an active one. Right. So, anything in your camp? No? Uh, I want to go that way. Can I actually go that way or do I have to go around? I think I have to go around, so. More exploring. Good for me, I like exploring. Oh. Ladders. And an upside down swimming sign. Evacuation guidelines. Evacuation plan, indeed. Medicare, assembly area, defense area. Evacuation route, D slash one hug, yeah. Only... Okay, that was loud. Only bring essential items. Non-essential items will not be loaded onto ferries. Warm slash waterproof clothing, ready to eat. Thinned or dried foods, basic tools, medicine slash first aid supplies. No pets, no personal items. That will not fit into a shoe box. No pets. Oh, but pets are family too. Start. Gothenburg Center. Continue on to Jötaelvbrun. The... Uh, 
Oh, literally a bridge. It's, it's a bridge. Via Swedenborg got on, turn onto Postigos Road, turn onto another road, 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 and then there's a ferry. Okay, that's a lot of roads. I hope they could follow a GPS signal that would make things easier. Look at this. Some sort of path through the forest. Hard to notice. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit overgrown, but it's not that hard to notice. Speaking of bridges. You have met a grisly end. Ooh, more bones. But I want the shiny bling blings. So I am going this way. Whoop. More dogs. Are you walking out of that compound like thing? No, you're not. So if I put you here, then Selma can be over here. And then I'll put Borman here. Then I can move ducks up. I can move Selma up. Hide right behind the fence. Borman, you can. Uh... Wow. You can have one hell of a flea market with this junk. Look at these weird machines. Where do you think they come from? Who knows? And there's the dog. Actually, I'm just gonna wait for him here. How far away would that be? Because you had a range of 14. You had a lesser range, 13. Come this way, doggy. Move ducks up a little bit. Oh, is that a dog? No, it's not a dog. Selma. I shall move you. Over here. <laughs> Woman, you can stay there. Oh. Let you go out into the open a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to screw you up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, Selma. Can you hit him from here? Yes, you can. Ooh, damage That's five. Right. Critical hits. Oh, man, you are the shit. That she is. Now, time to loot the spoils. Oop! There were more dogs. Actually, split up. This one. I do not want you to follow each other. Ducks, actually. Go up here. Nope. Wait for the dog. While I do that, hide Selma. Ooh. Now you can go up. It. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? 
The enemy heard you. Well, hear this. Oh, so tough now, huh? Yeah, that was two here. dogs. Are there any more? More scrap for me. No more dogs? Ooh, there's an exit there though. Could go to this place. Ooh, very shiny. Let's see if we got something useful. Top hat. <laughs> Aristo hat. 20% critical chance from high ground. <coughs> Sorry. An ancient headpiece that offers little to no protection, probably used to increase the height of shorter individuals in an attempt to raise social standing. Oh, well, you're not too far off. Broken electronics. So... Who wants a top hat? I actually want that one on you. Range is good. I should remember to take Selma onto heights then. <laughs> and the horn pokes out. Of course it does. Alright. Anything else being hidden here? Are you? Oh, you're dead. Just more. Okay, so let's see if I go this way. Am I allowed to go this way? A truck full of stuff. I am. Interesting. To a crashed helicopter. The fallen angel. I am going to save in every new area I get to. You know? Fallen angel, huh? I'm well, I guess how uh, you can. So I was talking to Aridia, and she told me about this Aridia. ancient machine she had seen out in the zone, not too far from here. She said it looked like it had fallen from the sky, crashed into the ground, and it spread more than enough scrap around for us. Alright, so I guess that's this place. Ooh, purple. We just walked into the wrong goddamn crash site. Ghouls. Right, but are those ghouls too high level? No, they're not. Your babies. I'm going alone. So, Borman, you walked into the exactly right crash site. Ooh. Can you hide behind this tree? Yes, good. Then put Selma near ducks, actually. Whoop. And then pew! Shoot him in the head. Yes, shoot him, please. Right, that's one down. Now for the hunter. Ooh, that looks to be a lot of ghouls. Come on, Borman. Pick stuff up as you go along. Hipster, hipster fruit test. Fruit test? And of course, it's a Swedish song. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sheesh. Power brick that has an image of a fruit etched on one side and continuous, continuously displays a flashing power battery icon on the other. This was used to determine the ripeness of fruits. Chroniclers say that this device had a secondary music playing function which required some earpieces to be attached to it. Oh. Here. Ooh. Behind the tree. Quick. Now just a step. Just another step. Just a few more steps and uh, you, sir. Don't know it yet, but you are screwed. Now it's getting fun. Oh, someone was caught searching. Okay. Take a shot from blast to the face. Sweet takedown. Uh oh. Overconfidence. What's that? Overwatch. Overwatch. Ooh. You are carrying a Molotov. I may be in a spot of trouble. Ooh. That's a lot of dudes. So. First of all, get behind this tree. Can you? 50% chance at a range. Go watch it. You can actually potentially hit them. You can definitely hit them, I think. No? Aren't you allowed to shoot? Out of ammo? Out of ammo? Oh, sorry. Can you reload? Oh, did the crossbow have ammo and I didn't realize? Reload, damn it. Reload. Thank you. Hmm, kill that doll. Oh, does that hurt? And I hope the burn damage will kill you. You have a hundred percent chance to hit. Fifty percent chance. Hundred percent. Fifty. Stop using escape. It's the right mouse button. One and uh, Overwatch. Overwatch it. Send to the farm. Here, doggy, doggy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh. Ooh. Bad. Bleed out. When a stalker takes too much damage, they will bleed out. Move close and use a medikit to save them within the indicated turns. Dies in three turns. Oh, Overwatch. lords! Injury detected. Confirmative. He's lying down again. Get the fat one. The fat one. No, hey. Sweat. Okay, I'm not too worried about you two because you got done in one hit, but um, I am uh, very worried about. Mm. Out of ammo. Why doesn't R work for reload? I'm gonna have to keybind that to something else. Actually. Ooh, that's a big range. And I don't want to hit ducks. And if I throw it there, I'm gonna hit Borman as well. Will that hit ducks?
Let's really Borman. You though something something fire and you're using a molotov so never mind okay, kill the dog because you're in the way Mormon, you are actually going to have to move to where ducks is Oh, right, you were overwatching. Ouch. That's half my health. Now you don't have a... You're just gonna throw a Molotov here, aren't you? So use a medkit on yourself, I guess? Hmm. Ah, screw it, you are gonna have to reload. Yes, leave myself open. And you. There comes the butcher. There come the marauder. Damn it. That hurts. Yep. I'm actually gonna have to get ducks this up. This might sting a little. You're the best. Okay, get rid of the marauder. The Borman, um... Mm. Some cover is better than no cover. Ducks, you are kind of... Uh. Don't go too far away. You have three turns if you bleed out, so if I go there, then shoot the butcher. And you have no ammo. So throw a grenade at the butcher because I just want people out. They dropped one of us. Yes, we did. Oh, fudge. So reload. I don't like that. The bot is, bot is going to heal people. Do I want... Aw. Alright, alright. Mistakes being made. Now, if I... Reload. Shoot you. Poor Borman. You are going to die this turn, so you might as well. Shotgun blast him to the face. That was awesome. Bye bye, Borman. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. At least you only have half health. Ah! 
You actually need to heal yourself. I only have one med kit. This is not good. Go there. Throw a grenade. Which will hit you two only. I hope. For a total of one damage. I was wholly unprepared for this. Ow! And their ducks went down. And poor Selma is all alone. I actually kind of want to know what happens when he bleeds out in one turn. So I am actually going to run away as far as I can just to see what happens. So that I know for future reference. Overwatch. Reinserting intestines into patient ah. study cavity. Happy to help. Kill the woman! Get ya! Yeah, and if I load the latest, where do I go? More medkits. Okay, I am here now. Back at the Fallen Angel. So I could just take my things. And... Go away. Hey, follow me. And just, you know, forget I ever came here. <laughs> just poking my nose in and go back to the ark. Can I do that from here? And expedition return to the Ark. Sure. Vroom, 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 vroom. I'm happy that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. No, oh, please do. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death, scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. So black death on steroids. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the ancients. We don't worship the ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods live in the heavens Space. it doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone our salvation depends on us hmm. us means Good lesson. humans and mutants together and as two of our resident mutants I bet you wonder 
who you are, <laughs> where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. Wiped? We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you. Stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Alright. Thank you for the history lesson. Goodbye, Stalkers. Uh, Rydia, do you have any more of those? My favorite. The Molotov cocktail. Simple and effective. Light it. Throw it. Watch the world burn. Very low initial damage, but burn damage is good. And I just noticed that there's a person riding that bike, presumably to power this shop. That's my guess, at least. Okay, I have 140 scrap. I do want some medkits. Give me the medkits. More medkits. Until next time. And Prip's place, I have a Hola, amigos. fruit ripener thing for you. Okay, I have three artifact points now, so what do I actually need here? Extend crew bleed out time by two turns, I might need that. Mm. Mule, exa grenade slot, no. Dealmaker, no. Uh, then again, I am no. Creed bleed, crew bleed, creed. Crew bleed out time by two turns. Been through a fair few fights over the years, both here in the bar and out there in the zone. At one time, I could crush a ghoul's head simply by using the raw power of my buttocks. You must have a very large buttocks to fit a ghoul head in there, sir. Here, let me share some of my tough guy secrets. I guarantee you are going to get toughed up rather than roughed up. I'm actually gonna take that one. Yes. So I guess I can. Yeah, I can buy everyone so I don't have to choose. Pyromania adds plus one fire damage to Molotovs per turn. And I have to buy that one before I can go there. Yeah. Might as well buy that one. And then I want this one. Definitely want that one. Have a swell time out there. Thank you. I shall try. Heard you met some of them ghouls in the weird outfits out there. Mm -hmm. They call them shamans or something. Their screams alert nearby ghouls and sends them running straight for you. Next time you see a shaman, shut him up before all hell breaks loose. So basically a screamer from State of Decay. So kill them first. Check. Right, 32 weapon points. I can actually upgrade someone's weapon. Damage modules. And one additional critical damage. 20% chance to disable robotic enemies. Like that freaking medibot. Yes. So kill kill shaman first. Kill medibots. Sure, enemies only are only revived at half health, but that's half health too much. If I... I mean, I should also remember, because I'm kind of bad at remembering, that initially this one is good, but I can also switch over to this one if needed. I don't have to reload this one, just go for this one and uh, keep fighting and then when I'm completely out of ammo well this one but yeah, same kind of weapon instead of reloading like a moron all the time do I want to upgrade you? cost 60 now I mean I don't really need to upgrade this because that does enough damage. 
I, to, I need to remember that this one knocks back enemies. Does it knock back enemies? If I hit them, just hit them, or do I have? Do they have to be close? I don't know. I haven't been able to try that because I've killed everyone with this weapon so far, as far as I can remember. Maybe I want to increase this one, because you're part of my silent team. Yeah, let's do that. Now I might actually be a little bit more ready. I don't think I'm going back to this fallen angel. Not yet. I think I'll clear the high road, then... See if I see what happens then. But uh, I'll do that next time. Uh, thank you for being here, and you take care of yourself now. See ya.